my name's Jay, LVC. I'm a vape reviewer. I also manage a shop in East London. I've been reviewing for probably three years now. So it was about seven years ago, my wife's in-laws from America came over and he knew that I was smoking and he'd, he'd started vaping. So he brought me over a Vamo Lava Tube with a Vivinova tank. That was probably one of my first ever kits that I ever had. And he goes, yeah, happy Christmas. And then it worked for about three or four months. Then I lapsed. And then he came back over and said, how are you getting on? Oh, I sort of knocked it on the head. And then he goes, you got to keep at it and try it again. So I've done it seven years later. Here I am. The biggest thing that you've got to realize is walking into a store can be daunting sometimes. And they, people get embarrassed and don't know what to ask. So they'll come in. What I've got to do then is realize like, I was there at that point, I didn't know nothing. So be easy with them, you know, introduce them into the conversation and then know a little bit about their smoking habits and why they want to quit and, and stuff like this. And then I ask them a, a few questions and then I point them in the right direction of what sort of kit or device that'll be best for their needs. I tailor make like their, what based on their questions, I tailor make what they need or what I think they need. I don't force it upon them. I ask them questions that are open-ended so they can give me answers. And then we work from there. We need to pull together. We need to come together as one. We need to show everybody that, you know, this is for the better. We need to make sure that we're giving the right information out where it's needed. Don't think, oh, I'll leave it for someone else to do. That's a bad move. You need to get that information out there, but the right information. I'm a reviewer. I learn stuff every single day. You know, I see bad press all the time and it, it, it does sicken me because I know that for seven years I've been smoke free. Every morning when I was smoking, I used to smoke 20 a day, maybe 25 if I got into my wife's packet, but she hated it. It was costing us a lot of money, more so to do with the fact of health reasons as well. Whereas I used to cough up loads of black phlegm in the morning. I don't do that now. You know, I'm not healthy as in I can run around and do a marathon. It's not about that, but I can breathe more freely. You know, I can, I can do things with my kids without having a smoker's cough and stuff like that. I don't stink. We just need to get the message out there that it's, it's a good thing, it's a change, you know? Work together, don't work against each other. Don't put bad press out there. Don't like focus on bad stuff. Come together as a community and do things for the better, make a change. So it's Live Vape and Chill, LVC. I do reviews on YouTube, I've got a Facebook group, um, I've got Instagram. Any question is never a stupid question, so don't feel ashamed of asking any question. Just don't, just pluck up the courage and ask someone, you will not get shot down. Do your research, be safe, and don't focus on all the negativity. Give that a break, focus on some positives, ask people about good stuff that it's done for them. Don't always focus on the negatives.